Then I discovered that, oh, I've been doing what, what is wrong? Mm -hmm. That actually, government cannot give you anything but to take from you. They don't have anything to give to us but to take from us. Hi, I'm Michael Moynihan for Reason TV, and today we're with uh, Adedeo Thomas, the publisher of AfricaLiberty.org, and a Nigerian uh, libertarian activist. Thanks for coming, Adedeo. Thank you. Uh, Adedeo, you are currently on a speaking tour of Africa uh, titled Creating the Pathways to Liberty, uh, in which you use the uh, theories of Frederick Bastiat to inform the masses in Africa about free markets. Tell us a little bit about that. What we discover from the from the middle point was that African history has been distorted and it runs down into the institutions. So when we look at books that are relevant to correct this distortion, that was when we found Bastia's book as relevant. And what we do is we write to universities, polytechnics and colleges of education seeking for collaborations to talk to their students on individualism, property rights, free market economy. And uh, we moved there with books, selected essay on political economy by Bastias, in defense of global capitalism, 20 myths about markets by Tom Palmer. Those are relevant texts that you can easily explain in African concept, in African context to African students and the populace. Do you find that, that, that you're having some measure of success? Averagely in a day I get about 20, 30 good emails from students that want me to come back. Mm. That, oh, they now read the book and this and this. And we start setting our competitions based on those books that they should relate it mm -hmm. to what and what is really happening and the solution in Africa. And which they're doing perfectly. And that's a good mail. Mm. That there's no day I wake up and check my mails that I don't see such mails from students in Africa. And again, the formation of African Liberty Student Organization in all institutions that we go to is also a mark to it. Because you now see libertarian student organizations in schools that we've gone to springing up and carrying out activities that is in line with our vision and mission. This is something of your own creation. This stuff didn't really exist, I assume, when you were a student, libertarian organizations people giving you books. So how did you become somebody interested in free market uh, economics? It, it, it was a big challenge because while I was in the university, I was um, the first place I went to Polytechnic. I was like in the student unionism. I, I talked to students about what is happening. I challenge authorities. So I started discovering books that I've never come across. So I start having interest in it, and by the time I read, I'm able to situate it to African scenario. Then I discover that, oh, I've been doing what, what is wrong? Mm -hmm. That actually, government cannot give you anything but to take from you. They don't have anything to give to us but to take from us. So that was our... W was there happened. one book that really sort of transformed the way you were thinking? A single, was there a single book that was the most influential to you? That was Bastiat. It was Bastiat. It was Bastiat. Tell us a little bit about the play that you've, you've, you've written and that you're performing that is a free market oriented play. Explain that a little bit. All right. Theater, folk tales, stories are the basis for teaching Africans. So when I came across uh, books like that, I always want to probably translate it into a play. And that was what uh, happened when I read uh, The Adventure of Jonathan Gollibo. And when I finished, I started taking it to the universities. And first University of Jaws accepted it in Nigeria. It was used in play in classes. Later, I do not, several universities. And presently, Amadou Bello University is currently using it at the master's level. So it's like they invite people all around, politicians, and display to them what and what should happen, especially in this present circumstances where we're trying to go liberal, when the government are even saying that, well, it is no more easy. They have to go liberal on economy, on free market economy, on other issues like that. Adedeo? Yeah. Thanks for coming. Thank Appreciate it. For Reason TV, I'm Michael Moynihan.